Hi, welcome to DNT Business Suite uh, video series. Uh, my name is Attila Mata from NAN21 and in this video I'm um, about to give you a very quick uh, technical overview of the user interface uh, architecture. Uh, as we have seen in a uh, previous uh, video, um, the basic building block in uh, DNet EBS is uh, at, at, uh, at least uh, from the user interface perspective is the so-called data control. Uh, data control, which is a basic building block, it's a model view controller architecture and it is combined in uh, user interfaces. Uh, one or more uh, data controls can be uh, tied together to form uh, more or less complex uh, user interfaces. The, um, the architecture is uh, something like this. Um, the data control as I s said uh, previously is a model view controller. There is a uh, controller Sorry, there is a controller which is aware of a model, we call it data source, and there are certain views which are aware of uh, the controller. So, uh, let's uh, have as an example the country uh, data control. Let's say in this dialog. Uh, it's, it's the same. Better let's take this one. Um, this is a data control, a filter view, a list view, and a form view. And these three views uh, synchronized together by a controller working on, on the country's data source uh, form the country data control. The same data control is reused in this dialog, uh, but uh, in uh, this context it is um, configured to work as a multi-record uh, data control. Here it's configured to work as a single record data control and here as a multi-record one. Uh, this in, in this dialog we use just the filter uh, view and the edit grid view. Here we use the filter view, the list view and the form view. So let's go back in here. A data control has one or more views. Filter, grid, edit grid, form. Later on, there will be a tree view or chart view or whatever else. Uh, these views um, notify a, cert, uh, a, a controller of what actions uh, uh, are, um, are triggered by uh, the user and there is also a sort of a direct communication between the views and the model uh, through a binding mechanism, a two-way uh, binding mechanism, which basically says if a user changes a certain uh, value, a field, um, a, a field value, then through this binding mechanism the model is notified and in real time the model record property is changed accordingly. And the same thing is, is true in, um, in the way back. So if you programmatic, programmatically uh, change the value of the current record in a model with a presentational uh, control logic, then through the same binding mechanism the value is uh, updated in, uh, in the views. Um, perhaps uh, 
many of uh, you who are watching this uh, video are uh, programmers uh, have you have a technical background maybe you know more or less uh, the, the xjs framework which is uh, by the way uh, a great uh, an extraordinary um, I javascript uh, framework and widget library to build uh, fantastic applications in browser and uh, in in this moment i would like to mention that uh, this binding is uh, is possible because of the great work uh, um, done by Saki perhaps uh, you already know him from the forums uh, is is a Saki I just want to say thank you you have written a great component uh, and the X UX bind manager is the one which is used in here so the data control it as a model a controller and certain views the communication is the views are aware of controller the controller is aware of model um, and the views and the model communicate through a binding now as um, 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 an architecture as development the, all the views extend certain abstract views a filter extends an abstract uh, filter form uh, sorry an, an, an edit grid, an abstract edit grid and so on. The controller extends an abstract data control the model does not extend anything. So this is uh, very briefly the architecture of a data control. These data controls little MVC groups are tied together and they form user interfaces. If we go in here we can see that this is one data control and it's tied together with the regions uh, data control to form this dialog in the same way here uh, the business partner data control is <coughs> linked together with the communications data control with the address contacts and so on the same way in uh, in the employees dialog uh, the employee data control is linked together um, with these other data controls to form a, a more complex uh, user interface. Uh, let's go back. Okay. So uh, the hierarchy can be either uh, one or more root level data controls and each one can have one or more children and this can have also one or more children and so on um, the hierarchy the depth is unlimited um, let's have a look just a very quick look uh, at the scripts this is a data control for the country um, it's just the views in this file we have the views the country filter extends the abstract filter the country list extends an abstract uh, yeah uh, DCV grid and so on an edit list and the, f the edit form also extends something uh, this is the the other file which is uh, which represents the data source the data source <coughs> with a model the filters model and the controller the controller which basically says these are the two uh, models which are used and there is a store configuration with the reader the writer and that's it very simple um, more details uh, will come in uh, in another uh, video thank you very much bye bye